Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 2nd January 2024. So first of all, we are going to take out the PDF of Hindu and we are going to take Delhi edition and we are going to pick out the articles which are important from our examination point of view. And later on, we are going to see the different dimensions, like in how many ways we can think about that topic. And even I will be letting you know, like how can we connect one subject with another subject. So actually, I think many of you are beginners and you will be facing problem like how to read newspaper. So for this, I want to give you one tip. So to select the topic which is important from our examination point of view or not. So how you will be knowing. So you have to go through the syllabus copy. So one uh, request from my side is so please uh, you can buy hard the syllabus. So if you buy hard the syllabus, so whenever you're going to the articles of newspaper, so you will be seeing the exact words which are present in your syllabus. So I will be also showing you like where you are seeing that so and so keyword and from which topic point of it is very important. Okay, and one more problem with our UP syllabus is it is not much well defined. For example, geography, it is not at all defined like which topics will come to the geography. So if you follow our news analysis daily, then I can give you an assurance or promise like within five to six months of time, you will be becoming uh, very much well aware with the current fights and you will be knowing like how to read the current fights and even how to connect one subject with another subject. So all these things that I will make you learn. Okay, that's my promise. And one more thing here is, if you're watching this analysis for the first time from this Rathod's IS Academy, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you really like this class, so I'm not saying now, so after at least five to 10 minutes, if you're watching this analysis, you will be knowing like how we are approaching the articles. So if you like that approach, so please hit the like button. Okay. So without wasting any time, let us see the front page. So this is the front page of Hindu. And we are going to pick out the articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. So the very first important article, that is very, very useful article, that is Exposat. Okay, Exposat. Title says, Exposat in orbit to study black holes, neutron stars. So there are many dimensions here. Okay, we are going to see the dimensions. So this article is talking about one ISRO mission. So it is ISRO mission. So what is the name of this mission? Okay, it is Exposat. And even it is talking about other things like, so this Exposat, which is going to study two things. One is neutron star and next one is black holes. So this is the thing which is given in the title, yes or no? So it is one of the ISRO mission. So name here is Exposat. It is going to study neutron star and black holes. So now let us derive some dimensions here. You have to know full form of this Exposat and which technology it is using and what is this mission and you have to see what is the significance. So what it going to study. So all these are very very important and even you have to see the launch vehicle. So through which launch vehicle it had been launched. That is PSLV. So through this PSLV it had been launched, right? So and one more dimension I can derive here is types of launch vehicles. Okay, so we have four types. So first variant is satellite launch vehicle. Second one is augmented satellite launch vehicle and third one is PSLV and last one is GSLV. So we have four variants. Okay, so in this GSLV we have Mark 1, Mark 2 and Mark 3. 
But the importance of this PSLV is very, very useful. Okay. Why? Because it is called as hordes, work hordes of ISRO. And now here we are going for improving of science and technology and we are using most advanced technology to come up with reusable launch vehicle. Okay, so this is one update. That means whenever you are using this launch vehicle, again and again we can use the same launch vehicle. That is the concept of RLV, reusable launch vehicle. And these are the some dimensions from this side. And now let us move on to another side. Here, this article is talking about two important concepts. So, here you have to see what is the meaning of neutron star and black holes. So, if you study life cycle of star, if you are studying this life cycle of star, you will be coming across these two words called as neutron star and black holes. And we are going to see that. And whenever any mission of ISRO, NASA, European Space Agency, JAXA, Roscommerce is seen in use, that will be very much important from your UPSC and even from your other state service examinations point of view. You can get both prelims and also means based question from this area. And this topic is important from GS paper 3 under science and technology. And even you have to focus on what are the applications also. I forgot this. We have to focus on what are the applications. So all these are very very important dimensions regarding this topic. So if you are really understanding like how to get the dimensions. So please uh, tell me your name and which state are you from in the comment box. Don't forget about this. Okay. And now let us move on. And next topic is GST revenue growth dips to a 3 months low in December. So this article is talking about GST collections. So here you can see this graph. So this graph is a bar graph. Yes or no? So this is a bar graph. So whenever you want to write a good mains answer, you have to focus on even presentation wise. So especially if you are writing answers of economy, you can use this type of bar graphs. You can use this type of bar graph. Okay. So for this, uh, you have to do some work. Especially you have to go to the economic survey. So in economic survey, you will be seeing like pie graphs, bar graphs, histographs, etc. So you can collect this graphs there. So after once you are clearing prelims, so you have to focus on this economy, especially collecting of graphs. Okay. So now let us see some dimensions. So this article is focusing on GST. So GST is nothing but goods and services tax. So here we are talking about taxes. So how many types of taxes are there? We have two types of taxes. So first one is direct tax. Second one is indirect tax. Okay, first one is direct tax. Second one is indirect tax. Direct tax is nothing but so based on your income. So how much income you are getting. So you have to pay tax or money to whom to government so there will be some percentage will be decided by the government and according to that percentage you have to pay the tax to government so this is example of direct tax how it is uh, how it is given okay how it is charged by the government and here we have different types of direct taxes for example we have income tax We have income tax, we have corporate tax, we have income tax, we have corporate tax, gift tax, etc. So these are some examples. 
So what is this income tax? For example, I am earning around 30,000 rupees uh, from this analysis from this so and so institute. Okay, so if my income is increasing above 5 lakhs of rupees per annum, then I have to pay the tax to the government. So corporate tax means nothing but, for example, I established a company. So I am getting profits. So on this profits, I have to pay certain percentage as tax to government. That percentage of tax is called as corporate tax. So on individual's income, so whenever any person who is paying tax to government, that is called as income tax. Corporate tax is nothing but on an industry or a factory or any establishment on the profits you are getting, they have to pay the tax. So this direct tax is like whenever my income is increasing, I have to pay more and more tax to government. So whenever there is increasing of my income, so I have to pay more and more tax to government. So because of this, I can call this as progressive tax. So can I call it as a progressive tax? Yes. So it is a progressive tax. So now let us see about this indirect tax. So indirect tax is nothing but I will be not bothering whether you are rich or poor, whether you are earning or not, but all are equal. So everyone need to pay the tax. So everyone has to pay the tax despite of their economical status or financial independence etc. So one such tax here is GST. GST is indirect tax so everyone should pay this tax. And I can say this tax is regressive tax. So why it is regressive tax because even if you are poor or rich you have to pay the tax. Yes rich they can offer. But what about the poor? So the poor are most affected because of this indirect taxes. Okay, so these are the two dimensions that you have to remember. And if you go to another dimension, you have to see in 2017, government came up with this GST Act and it started imposing of this GST. And here we have different slabs. You have to see what are those slabs of GST. For example, for luxury goods. So there will be high tax. For example, for entertainment, there is high tax. For example, if you are going for betting and gambling, online games, so that also had been, recently government had been increasing the slap for this online gaming and as well as gambling. Right? And you have to see what will be the advantages and what are the disadvantages of this GST. And one more important dimension here is, so which are the items which are the items exempted? Which are the items exempted from this GST? For example, alcohol, diesel, petrol. So you have to see all these things. So this topic is at most important. Clear? So this article is important from your GS paper 3 under economy. So one thing I can say here is if you want to make the running notes, you can make the running notes. You can keep a separate notes for current affairs and that will be helpful for your revision. Okay, after end of every month or after 15 days, after every 15 days, you can go to the revision part. Okay, so this is about this topic and this is our front page. Yeah, and one more article here is 196 cases of COVID JN1 reported. So here you have to focus on some important dimensions like this article is focusing on COVID-19 and you have to focus on mutations. So because of this mutations that is linked to the emergence of sub-variants or we can say new variants. So you have to see some examples of new variants like Omicron and now JN1 and you have to see what are the challenges of these mutations. And now again there is a crisis that is going to be started like whenever there is increasing of cases, yes it will be one cause of concern for the government. So whenever there are any mutations of the new sub variants, you have to see like what are the measures. 
what are the measures that can be taken okay to control the spread because whenever we are getting the new variants or sub variants what happened there will be a rapid spread of this infection to many people so here government need to take some measures so what are the measures that can be taken so all these are important dimensions clear if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment box so that i will be addressing your doubts in the next session that's all in this uh, front page and there is nothing much important in your city page and next important topic here is after center's clarification letter hatties gets st tag so here you have to focus on very important topic that is getting st tag so what is this st st is nothing but scheduled tribe ST is nothing but scheduled tribe. So this article is talking about inclusion of a community inclusion of a community into this scheduled tribe list. So here what are the dimensions you can think? So there are many dimensions. So first such a dimension is you have to see who is this ST? and what is the category to be fulfilled okay what is the category to fulfilled or what are the qualifications of the scheduled tribes and you have to see from which state so i want to give you homework students you have to take an empty map of uh, or like you can say uh, you can take the political map of india and you can point out to which are the tribes which are present in the which area okay which state especially the tribes from tamil nadu tribes from kerala tribes from andhra pradesh tribes from north is very very important and even you have to see the specialty of that tribes for example even in today's newspaper warli tribe is in news but this warli tribe uh, they are very much famous for this warli paintings and even assam so in assam we have lots and lots of uh, Uh, this tribal people so some are very famous for this bihu dance and you have to see like uh, which tribe is relevant to which art form like dances or paintings or bangles etc okay so that will be very very important and if you are the student from anthropology so this task you have to do for sure so it will be 100% because you have to write more and more answers regarding this tribals from your gs paper too so there this map will become very much handy okay and even you have to see like what is a procedure need to be followed and you have to see which articles in our constitution talks about this st so all these are very very important and we are going to see this article in very great detail and even you have to see once uh, a community which is getting the status of this st what are the benefits for them okay and you have to see in our country how many scheduled tribe people are there so out of this uh, especially we have 75 particularly vulnerable tribal groups okay so these are the some important things and this topic is important from your gs paper to under society and gs paper to under polity okay and even gs paper 3 under internal security okay so these are the some important dimensions that you have to think about and if you move on here there is one article okay it is talking about warli type in mumbai objects to construction of this shivaji museum on land they live on So you have to focus on one important keyword, that is Warli tribe. Okay, so you have to see in which area they are residing, and you have to see what are the important characteristic features of this tribe, like what is economy, so on which livelihood they will be depending upon, some food habits, etc. And one more thing here is. you can focus on the specialties like so this warli tribe is very much famous for this warli painting so you have to see what is this warli painting okay 
that's it yeah in this editorial page there is an article regarding this expo sat we are going to see that in very great detail so here this mission which is launched by using this pslv c58 okay you have to see what is polar satellite launch vehicle okay and how many variants are there so why it is called as work horse of isro so all these things are very very important topics from your science and technology point of view and if you move on in this article you can get lots of variants like ba 2.86 jn1 okay omicron etc and next topic it is about reigniting the flame of india korea defense cooperation so here we are focusing on india and south korea cooperation so now let us see which are the dimensions that you have to think from this article so as you all know this article is talking about india south korea relations so first you have to see the map so where is it located and here we have china here we have russia and here we have korea okay so this is north korea and this is south korea and here we have japan okay is yes or no so this is the map so here you have to see like history or background of india south korea relations and recently this 2023 marked 58th anniversary of relations between india and south korea and if you see this south korea which is supported by usa and if you want to maintain good relations with usa so we need to have good relations with this south korea as well okay and you have to see like which are the important areas of cooperation so in, in this important areas of cooperation you have to focus on defense relations so this article is talking about defense and trade relations and even you can think about what are the challenges even you can think about what are the challenges between india and sri lanka relations so all these things are very very important okay and you have to think why the south korea is important to india so this article is important from gs paper 2 under international relations so whenever any country which is seen in news so you can expect a map based question so you have to go to the atlas thoroughly whenever you are reading this current affairs of international relations clear so these are the dimensions and now let us move on to next topic so here there is one article so daily we are discussing that topic that is about how these so attacks in red sea by the how these may hit india's oil trade So as I said in yesterday's class that these Houthis are attacking, and in retaliation, U.S. attacked three vessels of these Houthis. So whenever this issue is happening, they are attacking the ships in the Red Sea. So this is a one of the primary route through which we are getting crude oil from West Asia. So whenever this house is the suspend movement of ships. the suspend movement of ships movement of ships in this red sea what happen we have other chance choices like we can go for rerouting of we can go for rerouting okay, or or else we can go for getting of oil from other countries so if you are going with these any one of this choice that we have that will increase transportation cost that increase time taken
and that will also increase crude oil price that will also increase crude oil price so what happens if crude oil price is increasing that will leads to inflation so inflation is nothing but increasing of price of goods and services in the market so all these impacts will be seen and you have to see even the map of red sea and important straits and nearby water bodies so already i showed about the map in the yesterday's class so please revise the yesterday's class so all these things are important dimensions that you have to think and even uh, you can connect with this houthis and us relation so they are operating from yemen and they are nothing but iran backed iran backed organization so all these things are very important okay so it is important from international relations and you can get a map based question in your prelims an analysis based question in your mains clear so these are very very important and this text and context there is one article it is about india's 1991 crisis and rbi governor's role so rbi is the central bank of india yes or no so rbi is central bank of india so this article is talking about rbi governor actually this rbi established through rbi act so this rbi act which came up with establishment of rbi and we came up with this rbi in this uh, britishers time itself not after the independence but even before independence we have this rbi which established through this rbi act and you have to see what are the qualifications of rbi governor and you have to see who will appoint this rbi governor okay and these are the basic facts so apart from that rbi plays a very important role so whenever we are facing inflation and rbi plays a very important role whenever we are facing this bop crisis so whenever we are facing inflation that is increased okay that is increased goods and service price in the market so rbi will come up with monetary policy it will come up with this monetary policy and whenever it is facing this bop crisis so rbi will approach this imf that is international monetary fund so actually we faced this balance of payment crisis during 1990s so at that time whatever the forex reserves at that time what are the forex reserves that we have with government of india that will be not enough for the next 3 days also to get the imports so because of this at that time here rbi approached this imf for the balance of payment crisis and we had the loans in return it said that we have to come up with reforms so those reforms are famously called as reforms of 1991 at that time we came up with lpg so what is this lpg lpg is nothing but liquefied it is not like liquefied petroleum gas but it is liberalization privatization and globalization so all these things are very very important and this topic is important from gs paper 3 under economy and one more important dimension you have to think here is what was the impact so after this economic reforms of lpg in india so what are the impacts that is seen on indian economy so all these things are very very important and you can move on to directly news page So in this page there is one article that is India and Pakistan exchange list of nuclear installations. Okay, so here we can uh, connect this topic with India Pakistan relations. So this article is important from your GS paper too. Okay, so when any country which is seen in news, you have to see the map of that so and so country.
here there is one article regarding mg narega payment system that is aadhar based payment system i discussed this topic in yesterday's video that to the first article so please go and watch that article so if you have not aware about that topic because if i am taking every topic the video will become very very lengthy it will be like more than one half hour but the time limit is there for me is to complete analysis within 40 to 50 minutes but even though uh, i am uh, breaching this limit and next topic is 2024 expected to be a year of gaganyaan readiness says isro chairman so here you have to focus on this mission what is this gaganyaan okay i will give you some dimensions so please think about this topic from these dimensions point of view so you have to say what is this so this article is talking about gaganyaan mission so it is a mission of isro and it is nothing but human mission so under this mission we want to send the humans to or astronauts to space and you have to see what is the significance and you have to see which launch vehicle will be used and you have to see like one more important dimension that is i will write with another pen so if you want you can make a note so do you know about the space sector of india so this space sector of india which had been improved a lot so here if you are talking about space sector because of the successful chandrayaan 3 mission because of the successful chandrayaan 3 mission so most of the countries now looking towards india and they are coming up with collaboration with space technology right so if this gaganyaan will be also success means india will be leading in the new space sector okay so from that point of view also it is very important and next topic is no tsunami threat to india says in coins so actually what happened the powerful earthquake that struck in uh, japan so because of this earthquake that led to tsunami so now inco says that so this will be restricted in that region it will be not having the impact on india so we have to see wait and see like uh, what will be the impact on india okay that is tsunami so you have to see what is a tsunami hurricane cyclones etc and one more thing i can say here is from yesterday onwards uh, so we are seeing there is low temperature and even uh, we are seeing that uh, skies are cloudy cloudy it may be the impact of this tsunami okay clear and in this world page you can see the same article that is major japan quake triggers tsunami residents told to run so this is also very important article the key word here is tsunami so you have to see what is the tsunami and what are the causes of this tsunami so what are the steps to be taken or you can take like measures what are the measures to be taken to control this tsunami and you can see like from disaster management point of view so what will be the preparedness what will be the preparedness and what are the steps that can be taken for rescue and rehabilitation for rescue and rehabilitation and you have to see like disaster management cycle for this tsunami and actually i want to say one important point here is in 2004 okay remember this 2004 the great tsunami that hit so here what happened tsunami which started this andaman and nicobar island oh, sorry so earthquake which happened in this andaman and nicobar islands and that led to very very great threat to india and even southern most point of this indira point had been submerged under water because of this tsunami at that time okay so you have to see even what will be the impact of this tsunami okay so these are the some important dimensions so i hope you got which are the articles important and how to read those articles 
Yes or no? So if S, please type 1. If no, type 0. Okay, clear? Are you getting bored? So if you are getting bored also, please let me know. So that we will be having some casual con conversation in the class. Okay. So this is about the newspaper and important articles. Now let us see the notes. And if you want to get this notes, you can join the telegram channel. Link is given in description box. So now let us see the Im very important points that you have to see from the important articles. So as I said, this article is talking about ExpoSat. And we are going to see some facts regarding this ExpoSat black holes and neutron stars am i clear yes or no so one more thing here is please be interactive so if you are interactive and if you are giving the comments then it will be boosting me and it will be encouraging me a lot so context says that indian space research organization isro kicked off new year with the launch of PSLV c58 that is x-ray polarimeter satellite exposat is nothing but X-ray polarimeter satellite. So this full forms will be very useful whenever you are writing other public service examinations. So if you see details, it says that ExpoSat is only second X-ray polarimetry mission in the world. So first one launched by NASA in 2021 and the second one launched by India. So here you can get a statement like India is a third country. It is not the third country, it is a second country. And it is the first dedicated scientific satellite from ISRO to carry out research on space-based polarization measurements of X-ray emissions. So actually you are having different celestial bodies. For example, we have planets, satellites, etc. So those are the celestial bodies like stars, asteroids, etc. So these bodies are present in our space. So they will be releasing these X-rays. So this uh, mission is going to identify these X-ray emissions of this celestial bodies and next topic is exposat which stands for x-ray polarimeter satellite so this satellite is one of the india's pioneering polarimetry mission and this mission which aimed at studying various dynamics of astronomical sources so we are studying various astronomical sources in extreme condition and it's only the world's second polarimetry mission it is very very important point and this ExpoSat is a collaboration between ISRO and Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, Karnataka. So now let us see how is this, how it is looking. So it is having the different components like we have solar array panels here and we have polyx related electronic packages and we are having this payload, payload viewing access here and we have platform module and we have polyx detector and the deck which is present so this is structure of this exposat and why we need to understand this astronomical science so why what we are going to get if you understand this astronomical science or sources so this polarimetry which measures x it is one of the diagnostic tool for comprehending the emissions from the various astronomical sources so from the celestial bodies if they are releasing any emissions that can be easily detected by this polarimetry and here from where they are going to collect the information so they are going for study of black holes neutron stars and active galactic nuclear pulsar and wind nebulae so from all these particles they are going to collect this x-ray rays and even if you are talking about observation so they are going for this timing measurements and they are going for understanding of this astronomical emission processes. So here this is a life cycle of star. So here if you are talking about the star, we have big stars and we have small stars. So if, it, if you are having a small star, average star, the next stage will be red giant and it will be converted into planetary nebula. Next one is white dwarf. So small stars end their life with this white dwarf. But if you are having the massive star, that means mass which is more than compared to the top mass of sun okay that is around three to eight times more than the mass of sun they are coming under this massive star category so they will convert into red super giant next supernova so this supernova will be converted either it into a neutron star or a black hole so this neutron star and the black hole they are the end forms of this massive star okay and end forms 
So if we're talking about neutron stars, they are composed of mainly neutrons. So because of this, the name which got to this is a neutron star. And they are produced after a supernova and they are forcing the protons and electrons to combine to produce a neutron star. And this neutron star, it is very dense. Okay, this is very, very dense. And its mass, it is around three times the sun and around 20 kilometers in diameter. And it is a mass that is greater and this star which is having a very huge gravity. Okay, and this black holes are believed to form from this massive stars at the end of their lifetime. And if you see the density of this is very, very huge and we can't even measure the density and the gravitational pull is so great that nothing can escape from it even not a light and i want to give you one homework or please guess the correct answer for this question that is black holes and neutron star so i will be giving you around 30 seconds of time to read this question and please pause the video and give the answer for this question done so we are also going to have this type of exercises so in between i will be giving you the question so that you will be not get bored okay so please let me know the answer for this question in the comment box and next topic is gst revenue growth dips to three month three months low so here we are going to see what are the facts regarding this gst so gst stands for goods and services tax so it is an example of which tax? Indirect tax as I said. So it came into effect from 1st July 2017. Okay. And through which amendment act it had been imposed. That is 101 Constitutional Amendment Act. It is very important. And, it's, and it has actually replaced various indirect taxes. For example, service taxes, VAT, excise tax, etc. And it is levied on manufacturer or seller of the goods and the provider of the services and if you see in these types we have three gst that is central gst state gst and igst that is integrated gst and here you have to know some facts regarding this gst council so here this gst council it is a constitutional body because article 279a of indian constitution talks about this gst council so because it is it is now a constitutional body so this article 279a of Indian constitution, so this article will give the powers to president. It is very, very important. It is not giving the power to parliament. It is giving the power to the president, okay, to constitute a joint forum of the center and the states called GST council. So who are the members of this GST council? We will be having chairman. Star person will be obviously our union finance minister. And the other members like union ministers of states who are in charge for the revenue and the finance. And this one is minister in charge of finance or taxation or any other minister who is nominated by the state government. Okay, and this GST council which is one of the apex committee to modify, to reconcile or to make recommendations to the union and states on GST. Okay, and what are the decisions are taken by the GST council? of uh, they are mainly based on the majority not less than t fourth okay not less than three fourth of weighted votes and the center has one third of weightage of total votes cast okay and now let us see next topic it is about st tag and what is the procedure that we have to follow to get the st tag and especially you have to see this article is talking about hattie tribe okay hatties so hat is your from Himachal Pradesh, H for H. So like that you can remember. And if you see here, what is this ST, that is scheduled tribes. So the framers of our Indian constitution, they took a note on the fact that certain communities, they are mainly suffering from social, cultural, educational, economic background, economic backwardness. And they comes under primitive agriculture practices and they do not have proper infrastructure facilities and they will be held in geographical isolation so because of this yes our 
fathers, founding fathers or framers of constitution, they inserted article 366 subclass 25. So this article 366 subclass 25, which talks about the scheduled tribes. So scheduled tribes means nothing but tribes or the tribal communities who are nothing but who are deemed under article 342 of Indian constitution and they will be scheduled tribes from now. So article 342 subclass 1 which talks about scheduled tribes. So the power is given to president again. The president may with respect to any state or union territory or here if you see in the case of state even the power is given with this governor. So governor can be consulted before the public notification. And this one is parliament also having the power like parliament by law can include or can exclude the list of scheduled tribes specified in the notification. Okay, so parliament is having the power and even president is having the power. And even governor can play a very important role to identify this estates in the state. And what is the current procedure that we are following for the inclusion of this ST? So according to modalities for inclusion, first framed in 1999, the proposal for inclusion must be originated from either state or union territory. So from the state or union territory, the proposal should be initiated. And later on, the proposal should be sent to the Union Tribal Affairs Ministry. And that ministry will send the same proposal to this Office of Registrar General of India. And this Office of Registrar General of India, which approves the inclusion and the proposal is forwarded to National Commission for Scheduled Tribes. So please let me know this National Commission for Scheduled Tribes is a constitutional body or not. If it is a constitutional body, which article is talking about this National Commission for Scheduled Tribes? Okay, so please let me know the answer. And this here, Registrar, Office of Registrar General of India, which continues to follow the criteria. And actually this criteria is set by this Lokur Committee in year 1965. And this Registrar General of India will be seeing like whether that so and so particular uh, community will be, will be uh, and will be coming under this qualifications of this ST or not. So they will be scrutinizing that and if they are according to the qualifications then they will be getting this ST status. So what is the criteria that need to be fulfilled? So first one is they he need to have the primitive traits and they need to have the distinct culture and they have uh, they should have this geographical isolation and shyness of contact with the community at the large and they should have this backwardness. So if these criteria is met, then they will be getting the status of ST. Okay, so that's it. And the, the final decision will be taken by again president. Okay, president will be taking the final decision. So what will be the benefit if so and so community which, uh, which got this ST status, so what will be the advantage they are going to get? So there are many advantages. So first one is they will be uh, now onwards they are eligible for the reservation for the education as well as jobs. For example, we have article 15 and article 16. And next one is they will be also getting some special safeguards under this article 244. Okay, they will be included under this fifth or sixth schedule. And next one is even article 243D says that reservation of the seats for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. So from that also they will be getting benefit. And article 330 which provides reservation for the seats for scheduled tribes in the Lok Sabha. So in this way they will be getting numerous advantage if they are listed under scheduled tribe. And now let us see next topic it is about India-Korea defense cooperation. So this article is at most important from your international relations. So now let us focus on the what are the areas of cooperation between India and South Korea. So if you are talking about the background so why it is in news because we are going to have a meet and next one here is this 2023 which had been ended so this 2023 which marked 50 year of anniversary of relations between india and south korea so if you are talking about trade and economic relations in 2022 trade between two nations reached all time high all time high in year 2022 and 2018 indian prime minister and South Korean president, they came with joint, joint open with Samsung Electronics Noida. 
so and they are focusing on especially smartphone assembly and this is one of the largest facility in kind in the world so we have that in india and this one is trade and economic relations they gathered momentum again with the implementation of this comprehensive economic partnership agreement between india and south korea in 2010 and because of this sepa so that led to the increasing of bilateral trade between india and south korea and which are the items that we are exporting to Korea from India like mineral uh, fuels, oil distillates, mainly naphtha, cereals, iron and steel. So these are the things that we will be exporting. But what we are importing? So we are importing automobile parts, we are importing telecommunication equipment, iron products, refined products and lubricating oils, nuclear reactors, mechanical appliances electrical machinery and parts iron and steel products so we are importing a lot and next one is india and south korea they launched an initiative that is korea plus in 2016 and actually in this korea plus they are focusing on facilitating investments in india so we are going for improving of investments so for example we came with the samsung hyundai and lg so the samsung company hyundai and LG, so they are of South Korean companies. So how many of you are using at least one of this LG, Samsung or Hyundai? So anyone? So my phone is Redmi, I'm using Chinese phone. Uh, but tell me how many of you are using Samsung mobiles or Samsung tablets? Or even in your uh, home, you can use the Samsung related electronics, right? So how many of you are using? So let me know how many of you are using LG refrigerator. So in my home, we have this LG. And how many of you have this Hyundai cars? So please let me know in the comment box. So that you will be averting that a so and so company which is belonging to so and so country. So that you can understand like how we are improving the relations with that such a country. Clear? And next topic is uh, like what are the challenges? So challenges are nothing but because of this uh, Russia-Ukraine crisis that is having impact on these relations. And even uh, now on now nowadays we can see this Chinese aggressive policy. So because of this, it is threatening India South Korea relations, and even Ukraine war, which has numerous political and social ramifications. Okay, so these are some important challenges. And next topic is what is the role of RBI governor? So we are going to see just the gist of this article. Okay, so the gist which is given, and we are going to see the gist itself. So as Venkateya Ramanan led RBI efforts during India's severe balance of payment crisis okay, during 1990s to 1991, including he came with initiatives to raise international loans and pledging India's gold reserves, which salvaged the country's financial reputation and prevented the potential default. So actually, because at that time, this RBI governor played a very important role. So if this role which had not played by this RBI governor means at that time so we used to went into this political default or potential default or financial reputation will be lost in the global. But here it's a very important role played by this RBI governor and under his leadership RBI implemented import compression measures. So we came with increasing of uh, rising of cash margins or imports. And this stringent strategy significantly reduced current account deficit and it also led to the stabilizing of balance of payment crisis. And he also displayed openness by inviting diverse opinions and experts and even he focused on the other people's decisions and their ideas. And he also discussed some critical economic matters and he demonstrated an inclusive and non-hierarchical non approach of decision making. Okay, so this is about this topic and next topic it is about Gaganyaan mission and we are going to see some facts regarding this Gaganyaan mission. So if you see here some details regarding this Gaganyaan, so Gaganyaan it is a mission by ISRO. Okay, and there are three flights will be sent into the orbit. So here there will be two unmanned flights and one will be human space flight. So Gaganyaan system module is called as orbital module that will have three Indian astronauts including a woman. So it will circle at, at a low earth orbit at an altitude of 300 to 400 kilometers from the earth that too for seven days. Okay, five to seven days. 
So what is the significance? So this mission will be helpful for enhancement of science and technology levels. So that here every country will be knowing about the potential of India regarding the space sector. And we can attract lots and lots of investments in the space sector. And we can attract many countries towards India okay, in the space sector. And India will be moving forward in the race of new space sector. Okay, and Gaganyaan will involve numerous agencies, laboratories, disciplines, industries and departments. And even it will be helpful for improvement of industrial growth as well. And recently India has announced a new organization that is in space. And it is a part of reforms to increase private participation in the space sector. Okay, and it will also very much helpful for demonstrating of technology of social benefits. And even it will be helpful for improving of international collaboration. Okay, so these are the some important significance. So that's all today. So these are very important articles that appear in our today's Hindu newspaper. And one request from my side here is, if you are watching analysis, so please do watch consistently. Okay, and please do encourage me by your likes, your comments. And don't forget to share this video to your friends. And please do subscribe to Rathor's IS Academy YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching.